the United Stellar Army Corps of Engineers. Many of you are specialists in fifth dimensional technologies and are members of the United Stellar Army Corps of Engineers. This organization has nothing to do with other U.S. Army Corps of Engineers as their technologies are strictly 3D and will be useless shortly. The United Stellar Corps members are masters of transmutation, high-frequency vibrational medicine, and dysfunctional disarmament. The Corps is here to bring these and other technologies onto this plane to facilitate the physical and spiritual alteration that is currently in process. The 3D Dilemma Third dimensional sciences are ill-equipped to handle the awesome shift that is now taking place because they are not true sciences. They are a little more than elaborate systems of measurement that have been used to dominate the environment through a faulty understanding of energy. The major reason human sciences have been unable to evolve beyond the level of pseudosciences is because they are based on fear and manipulation rather than on love and creation. Another reason they currently fail to discover anything worthwhile is because they have been bought off by the industries that control their funding. These industries have a vested interest in not developing anything that would liberate this planet from economic slavery. Therefore they have created a parity program that is actually paying scientists not to discover anything that might overthrow the current system. As a result of these factors, the sciences have been cornered into an unempowered position that has successfully placed a cap on any further third-dimensional scientific achievement. This has largely eliminated their having any meaningful input into the transmutative process. The 5D response. Because of the tacky situation Earth scientists have gotten themselves into, the majority of the United Stellar Corps is not among their ranks. Cleverly disguised as housewives, Office workers, hairdressers, cab drivers, or mild-mannered reporters, they stand outside the scientific domain, ready and waiting to be called into action. That call is now being sounded. Unlike its third-dimensional counterpart, the United Stellar Corps is staffed by true scientists. The technologies of these sciences are based on love, manifest light, and are true acts of creation. Because their sciences are creative arts, they have no need to systematically disassemble life, destroying it in an attempt to see what makes it tick. They instead participate with life to create new options where those options didn't seem to exist. A major function of this core is to offer free passage in the 5D express train they engineer, enabling the planetary inhabitants to disembark from the 3D local that has them rattling slowly around their cosmos riddled with fear. The technological representatives of the United Stellar Corps are here to assure in the final frontier. That frontier is creation, and entering the frontier of space is but its natural consequence. The key to interstellar travel lies in mastering the creative process, not in acts of technological conquest. That mastery will lead the planetary inhabitants out of their stupor. And as a result, it will also lead them out of their solar system their galaxy, and their dimension. The United Stellar Corps of Engineers is here to open the doors to technologies as yet undreamed of. These technologies are the legitimate offspring of spirit, not the disinherited children, created through the unholy marriage of manipulation with the frightened machinations of the mind. The Corps is here to unlock the gateway to the stars and to escort the Earth and its inhabitants to their rightful and royal place among the vast creative forces of the universe at large. Adult children of dysfunctional earthlings are code. Adult children of dysfunctional earthlings may not sound like a job category, but it is, and you are all in it. Some members of the mission, however, are especially gifted in the art of reawakening and are experts in assisting other recovering earthlings to do the same. They are called a code first class, and they are experts in the field of owning it to their true magnificence. This advance guard of the code is noted for demonstrating dramatic changes in consciousness at very rapid rates. You will know you are among them if the picture in your driver's license begins to look like it was taken during a past life reading, or like a photo someone snapped at a masquerade party you don't recall attending. Members of a code are also extremely adept at the cosmic quick weight loss diet. Although their physical bodies may or 
may not reflect the effectiveness of this program, their oil is always due. The first and only step in this program is to stop hiding. Our code members have the ability to do so overnight and wake up laughing about their social security numbers, their mortgages, and especially their alleged careers. They have the singular ability to burst into their full presence and assume their sovereignty without even giving their friends and colleagues two weeks notice. As a result of this skill, they are indispensable in blowing apart the dysfunctional games of everyone else around them. Adult Children of Dysfunctional Earthlings is the front line of Mission Control's Planet Renewal Project, and their support groups are the heavy artillery of human liberation. The MASH units, the Mobile Astral Surgical Hospitals, or MASH units, are stationed throughout the planet, as well as off-planet. Their medical personnel are masters of interdimensional internal medicine. Like the United Stellar Corps of Engineers, the members of these units are, for the most part, not to be found among the established medical profession. The biological knowledge that the process of transmutation requires is beyond that profession's scope, and luckily, beyond its treatment programs. If by some fluke, medical doctors are able to diagnose transmutation correctly, they will probably try to develop a vaccine to stop it or a drug to squelch it. Mission Control does not recommend you take either. If symptoms persist, we advise you to consult your local interdimensional physician instead. To do so, go within yourself and ask for the MASH unit emergency line. Once you have been connected, request the assistance you need. A MASH unit member will respond to your call on one dimension or another. Transmutative symptoms. One of the most common transmutative symptoms is exhaustion, usually resulting in a phenomenon called vegging out. This is only natural because the physical body is rearranging its cellular structure to accommodate its culinary shift from burgers and fries to a diet of pure light. Do not be alarmed by the resulting fatigue of this process. It would be more alarming given the condition of the food chain if this change did not take place. Other commonly reported symptoms include the discomforts of transmutation fever that the emotional body reports as it sees itself being dismantled, fumigated, and remodeled. Don't give this condition undue attention since the emotional body is largely opposed to all of this transmutational stuff and tends to complain constantly. For similar reasons, the mental body may inform you that it is suffering from terminal confusion as it watches spirit assuming command and imagines itself about to be fired. This is of course untrue and it may be useful to remember that the mental body loves to misinterpret and misrepresent. If that ploy doesn't work, the mind may also point out that suddenly it can't remember anything as though that were proof positive that transmutation is terribly dangerous and grounds for your immediate retreat. Disregard the report. The truth is that the past is being removed as a mental reference point and replaced by future ecstatic models. The mind can't remember anything because all useless data is being culled from its files. What it perceives as imminent danger is actually its imminent liberation. Lastly, the ego and the personality will undoubtedly come up with a litany of complaints that are hair-raising if you give them any credence. Do not listen. They like the mind, haven't a clue about what's going on, and are inaccurately reporting their reconstruction through their fearful sense of being abandoned. Although most of the symptoms you may experience will not have very much biological substance, they can still be uncomfortable and unnerving. Your old life is dying, and your new life is emerging. That process can cause quite a bit of physical, mental, and emotional disturbance. If undue discomfort occurs during the process of your birthing, check into one of the recovery rooms staffed by our MASH unit members. They specialize in assisting you to safely fall apart on all levels. Transmutative Cures There are no real cures for transmutation, nor should you desire that there be, because transmutation is the cure. It is a natural process that is absolutely necessary for the next step in your evolution. It is also the only way you will be able to withstand the increased vibrational field of energy you are about to enter. The closest thing to remedy 
for this process is to willingly allow and assist these vital changes. Voluntary consent is the jurisdiction of the patient. Assistance is in the competent hands of the MASH unit members. Their personnel have one primary function. They are here as highly trained professionals to assist in the planetary birthing process. They are interdimensional midwives sent and to help the planetary population and the planetary sphere through the trauma and pain that may accompany this awesome act of spiritual awakening. They are specialists in the transmutative procedure and are equipped to handle all the psychic, emotional and physical complications the emergence of new life can entail. All MASH units, both on and off planet, are ready and awaiting our calls that will bring them to the delivery rooms immediately.